Well, it is camping season, but that doesn't mean you have to go out into the wilderness only eating hot dogs and s'mores, although they are delicious. Mm -hmm. Culinary adventurer and chef Josh Wolf is here to share some of his secrets for gourmet cooking while camping. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. How are you guys? Wonderful. Thanks. Good. It's smelling good already. Yeah, it's, it smells delicious. Bacon has a tendency to do that. Yes. Speaking of which, we'll start that real quick. Okay. Um, so this is uh, a breakfast dish, obviously. We we'll call it the one pan wonder. One pan that's the only. That's the only dish you're gonna get dirty. That and the pan. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, Great for cleanup. Yeah, that's Makes the best. Everything on the board, get it all ready to go. Yep. And then one by one, they just go in sort of uh, in order of operations. Bacon takes longest, then the mushrooms, we'll put onions and tomatoes and so on and so forth. Okay. And uh, eggs it right at the very end. And well, you know what happens after that. And then we eat it. That's, that's the, right. the best part. That's right. Now, uh, when you're going camping, uh, what's step number one? Um, it's all about kind of being prepared and packing as well, right? You don't want to have uh, soggy hot dog buns and because your ice melted, what's the best way to go? So just like uh, everything else in life, uh, how well you plan is how well you'll finish. Okay. And uh, plan your menu, yep. plan your meal, measure out everything, bring only what you need, use your food as ice instead okay. of ice as ice, and uh, freeze your steaks for the second day. They'll defrost slowly over the course of the first day, keep everything else cold, chili for lunch the last day. Do the same thing, put it in a bag, you can always warm it in the pot. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the more prepared you are before you leave, the more fun you'll have and the less cleaning you'll have to do. That's, I love. Yeah. So I'm prepared. interested in maybe a food that you really shouldn't take camping. What is, what is a bad idea out there in the woods? You know, dairy's hard to keep. Mm. Um, liquid is hard to deal with. Right. Um, you can bring vessels and sealables and so on. But things like eggs that come in their shell, bananas are amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, I bring lots and lots of fruit. I do a lot of prep work at home. If I'm bringing granola, I make it ahead of time. If I'm doing cooked fruit, I, I often kind of cook it ahead of time. And, and I really, I show up ready and then it doesn't matter what you bring. Mm -hmm. Awesome, well that makes sense. And uh, yeah, it's all about preparation. How are we looking over there? We're, uh, we're I'd say up. we're doing okay. The eggs are bubbling and in the meantime, do you, do you want to slice that parsley real thin, getting ready for the final finale? I can, uh, I can do my best, yeah. Okay, that's all anybody can ever ask of you. And now, I, you're a man who practices what he preaches. So you've been out in the wilderness with, with leading groups. And tell us a bit about that. You know, I'm on a quest to cook everywhere I possibly can <laughs> that doesn't include a restaurant. Okay. And um, I like cooking outdoors. I like cooking with outdoor implements, mm -hmm. barbecues. I like fires, although this is not the right season or the right year to cook outdoors with a fire. Um, but I do spend a good part of my year um, up north in northern BC, um, in and around outdoor activities and sporting events, and really just trying to take foods that I find out in the wild or locally produced stuff and, and cook them in interesting ways without the confines of four walls and a stove and someone yelling. Now, what are the must-bring items? Of course, we have the Coleman stove, which you're cooking on, and as you said, uh, you know, cooking on a fire is great, but we can't do that right now. What else are we bringing along? Yeah, so coolers are really important. Bring, you know, they, they used to make really great coolers that lasted forever and ever and ever, yeah. but the coolers they make now are so efficient, they're so light, and they're reasonably inexpensive, so coolers are important. With wheels. Thank you. That's Thank key. you. Bring That's coolers key. with wheels. <laughs> Don't carry your cooler ever again. Bungie big big four by four wheels, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then um, the stove is always a great addition. Yeah. The two burner stove is amazing. This Coleman actually converts to a grill, so you can oh, skip nice. the fire and you can cook steak straight on it. Um, and then all the little things, if you want nesting yeah, pots and pans, and you get a, a pretty good selection of frying pans and um, uh, pots, and you then the pots the double. Pot? Yeah, so if you slide that lid off, one way or another, it does slide off, I promise. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, and then you okay. find all the goodies hiding inside. and uh, Easy for storage as well. Yeah, so we can get three pots into one, so that's perfect. And then those pots also double as mixing bowls and things, right. and so you have to bring less stuff if you bring the right stuff. I could also eat right out of stuff. it, right? Yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah, when you're camping you want to eat right out of the pan. That's I good, we're going to eat right out of the frying pan that's, on this one. Anyway, that's how so. I do it at home, over the sink a lot of the time. Yeah, me My too. wife doesn't love it, but me you know. Me too, right out of the bag, right? <laughs> that's right, right out of the yeah. bag. Yeah. Uh, so where do you get all this stuff? Um, Great products, but I got to tell you, the best camping tip anybody ever gave me was head to your local Canadian Tire with the selection of products they have and the variety of stuff in stock in every store across the country. It is Canada's camping store, and you can get absolutely everything you need in one trip. Mm -hmm. There you go. We were saying too, though. I mean, for people who don't camp, busted. Um, sometimes <laughs> it'd be nice if there was a course or something on it, and you would be the right guy because sometimes, like we were saying um, before we started. You know, there's a trip where you're doing the West Coast Trail and you can't take that with you, or it might be you want to make it more of a glamping experience 
and you'll take that and God only knows what else. You, you brought up an interesting point. There are many different kinds of camping. We said, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't hike in 50 kilometers carrying this stove on your back. There are certainly other options if, um, if you're going to go ahead and do that kind of camping. But um, really, I mean... Maybe I should maybe I should start a course. Would you I think, take it? I, I would definitely. I, I think it. so. Yeah. We're almost out of time here. Let's get this on the plate. And uh, well, the real reason we had you in. Let's taste this yes. and see, Bianca. This is also really handy, by the way. This is a little culinary helper, which keeps everything organized. Oh, it's and perfect. It has everything you need, and it yeah. wraps up and it rolls up. It takes no space. It's super light. I can't believe you just used that knife on the plate. It's okay. I'm just geez. gently. I could give you a hard time a little bit. You're eating. Someone's not uh, getting invited to the next camping. Nothing track. like a runny egg yolk. I love it. Yeah, Let's me too. See. All right. What do you think? Oh, it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> but the stove works. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to wait before I have my bite and let you guys know that if you want to keep up with uh, Josh's culinary adventures, <laughs> you can hit him up on Twitter at Chef Wolf. And now I'm going to have a bit. We'll and right we'll be back. right back. <laughs> 